Hello friends, welcome to the whiteboard tutorials. You may mail me at eccentricabstract at the rate gmail.com for your further queries and queries in a basic medical science. Topic is cardiac axis. I know uh, when we uh, read in a ECG uh, basic mechanism we often encounter this word that is cardiac axis determination or what is cardiac axis now my whole video will would be on this concept which uh, which is really a basic mechanism in which is very important to understand ECG and also furthermore as we move so how do we interpret the ECGs and it's very important concepts now to uh, just give you a explanation of cardiac axis I would uh, wish you to go through basic concepts basic introductory points which we should know prior to know the cardiac axis first of all Now, the basic introductory concepts, basic introductory concepts, which are really necessary to understand it. Now, first of all, uh, when we uh, grasp this word cardiac axis, what is the real meaning? Now, with the axis, we generally know to the vector that where the cardiac axis is going. As we know, what's the basic meaning of axis? Axis is around which any body is consumed or it's uh, uh, in a special, special di determination of that body around axis. But here, the, what is the meaning of cardiac axis? Now, here we uh, it, it is somewhat different here it's actually the vectorial final vectorial product final direction for example when we study vectors when we studied vectors in uh, school we we uh, learned many concepts like uh, for example a body uh, uh, a body's there is a force F exerted on this uh, mass M body if the force F is exerted on this direction there are two components of this force that is one is this if it angle makes the theta with this horizontal one is F cos theta and other is F sine theta so these are the vectors and by this we have assumed the, that is we have got the direction of this final vector that is f now likewise in the heart also we have uh, axis in this direction also axis in this direction also here axis means the action potentials action potentials are the depolarization waves now and when we talk about this action potential waves here also we get the final cardiac vector axis in this direction now it's uh, actually I've moved further before explaining you the basic points but just to uh, appreciate the importance of the concept of vectors I have made this point clear to you now how the vector components add to the final vector it's the same as the cardiac axis vector which is the final direction of two force or the components of any two directory forces or it, it have this example, taken the example of force it may be anything that is a vector quantity now second most important concept that I want to appreciate is actually the conception of depolarization and repolarization here I want to lay importance only on the these both basic concepts for example we have a cardiac muscles 
that is cardiac muscle tissue which is striated and which have gap junctions you can is a gap junction these are myocytes that is myocardium myocardial cells and in normal resting membrane potential we have negative charge inside and positive charge outside it is polarized state that is this state is called polarized after the initiation of action potential it reverses the direction that is here it becomes positive and upper it becomes negative now when we see in the uh, instantaneous form for example just take the example this is plus and this is this is polarized and it is depolarized state now here we have negative now we have the basic concept of circuitry knowledge in circuitry knowledge we know that a resistor when a current is passing in the circuit it moves from high potential to low potential it is positive and it is negative now when we uh, for example we have the same condition here as uh, we also can take more example that like if we attach a galvanometer across this it will deflect this needle onto this side because it's positive and the negative the current is moving from this state to this state so it's a basic concept here that when we attach the two voltage across the battery the galvanometer reads like this so there is a deflection from this side the current is moving around this now likewise in muscles if we as we have a body is a great volume conductor we can trace the signals from ecg machine or any bioamplifiers now just to the um, importance here we have likewise we uh, assume that we have two electrodes and we attach this to galvanometer we can assume this as this battery this acts as a battery and it is an instantaneous position that is when the wave of depolarization is going around this the galvano re reads really quickly and by this only the wave is generated in ecg likewise for example when it is going from here here to here we have a separation of potentials so here we are positive and here we are negative so that it will deflect in this direction likewise the ecg for example records this is voltage this this side excuse me so likewise the potential would be recorded in this direction so ecg would be read it like uh, upper waves as the direction is moving from here to here now the main uh, concept is not that where the needle will go upwards or downwards we just to uh, prepare your basic soil fertile so i to understand this method of the concept of cardiac axis i explain you to this so it's a basic introductory point to understand the cardiac axis now my second third point would be most important that is that i said the volume conductor what is volume conductor and dipole so as we understood the concepts of depolarization repolarization and before it we understood the concept of vectors now we are moving towards this volume conductor and dipole now what is a volume conductor volume conductor is nothing for example we have a body and as we have human body take it as example of human body we have in our extracellular fluid intracellular fluid in cells we have various ions which make us our body a vo great volume conductor that's why if we have our heart located here the signals are transferred across the skin and we can record them in the form of ecg that's how we interpret the cardiac axis that from where this direction this direction and the total vectorial product is 
carried out at the skin through electrodes and we termed it as electrocardic axis. Now it was the concept of card volume conductor. What is the volume conductor? Second is dipole. As we know with the name suggests it as a dipole positive and negative. And the here we have the arrowhead at the positive direction and the backward at the negative direction that's how we we will represent the cardiac axis now the cardiac axis for example would be like this so here it would be negative and it would be positive so heart acts x uh, dipole when we are recording as a cardiac axis that's how we it is it is made possible to uh, record the is cardiac axis now i have explained you all the points which and which were necessary to know the basic mechanism of cardiac axis now i'm moving to the most important point of cardiac axis for example this is a heart it's not a this is not an atomically correct diagram just to explain you apex this is walls septal left ventricle right ventricle sorry right ventricles three times thin than left ventricles this is left ventricle and this is left ventricle this is right ventricle and this is atria now we have as we know before watching this video i suppose that you have studied basic concepts of ecg and you have also know that the cardiac axis is at 59 degrees normally or we can say at 60 degree now what's the physical meaning of this cardiac axis when we are reading this we of uh, actually when we we know that the cardiac axis is directed at this point but we don't we try to understand how it is been made and how it is represented all the concepts how which deduce this axis to which deduce this concepts of depolarization we process of depolarization to this axis that is how we are interpreting these electrical activities in the heart in the form of this as i told you that what is a volume conductor that volume conductor we are recording the electrical activities from the heart in the ecg paper we are skin electrodes now it was the first or the play card of our concept that the depolarization depolarization was recorded due to a property of volume conductance and dipole action of the heart it is negative and the positive through which we have recorded the ecg now giving you the most important point how it came out to be this axis now we know here we have sn node right atrium here we have av node in the this part of right atrium i don't know the exact location but just check it out now the waves are usually carried out like this waves it travels to av nodes from sn node then from the bundle of his that is the septum from the bundle of his it travels then uh, prokanji fibers to this now these are conductors these are conductor pathways green conducting fibers of these electrical circuits of the heart a uh, heart is also electrical circuit it's no less than that now as we know the depolarization start from this side the atrial depolarized from a navy node it is hold it for a moment then the bundle of is are carried through septum then right atrium left atrium and it gets depolarized now the basic concept is that the net vector of depolarization as we know first this atria will get depolarized by this we mean that the negative direction the negative sign inside the myocardium changes to positive and outside it becomes negative now just to clear the diagram more 
So here we have the diagram of instantaneous potential that I've made after the wave has traveled, after the signal has traveled to the septum, left ventricle, right ventricle. Now here we can see the depolarization wave is traveling around the left ventricle, right ventricle as the depolarization wave travels from endocardium to the pericardium. It's the general, first these inner layer will get depolarized, then this layer, then this layer and this, this layer. So the final uh, uh, distribution of charges is like this. That is, it is still depolarized. This part is still depolarized. So it is acting as a positive charge carrier. And this is negative, that the septum is being depolarized. Now, here the main point arises. Now you see, we have the real test that, that I taught you in the uh, introductory points. What's now, how will we, we will interpret this in terms of those points now first one i told you the vector direction now here we know the now i'm telling you the points that i uh, concluded earlier to this to give a better conclusion now now how vector will help us in order to understand this now just we can take the direction of this for example here we are analyzing this situation it is negative and now it is being made positive. Now I am magnifying here. We get the this direction of vector. As I told you, the dipole of the heart in ECG we represented by this. The arrowhead is always towards the positive. Now here we have this vector direction. Now the terminal di uh, distribution of vector would be like this. Like this. So, it will be as the final charge would be distributed like this. So, the final vector by uh, cancelling all, uh, by adding all those vectors, we get the final vector of the heart cardiac axis like this. As it is acting at the dip dipole, what that I told you earlier that a dipole like this is represented electronically in signal wise like this so we have now get the idea of cardiac axis how it is represented so now you would be clear about the concept cardiac axis and thanks for viewing goodbye mm -hmm.